guys, happy Saturday. It's Joe. I know I haven't been on the channel for a long time, but I figured I had to post today of all days because today is like Christmas and every single holiday rolled into one. Um, for Americans uh, and, and other aliens, you might not know about this, but today is Eurovision. Um, I didn't know about Eurovision before I moved to the UK, but it is the most amazing, most crazy cakes thing of all time. Uh, basically, it's like a cracked out American Idol with all of the countries in Europe competing in the Eurovision Song Contest, and it is insane and amazing. And I'm just posting um, because all of the countries have already gone, and what they do is they have a, a chance to open the phone lines, and every country people can phone in and vote. And you can't vote for your own country because that's a no-no. But anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, I first found out about the Eurovision Song Contest when I moved to the UK a few years ago, and I had never heard of it before. And um, my friends enlightened me to the fact that it's best um, viewed drunk, uh, and uh, and I was given uh, a Eurovision bingo card because really that's the best way to do a Eurovision drinking game I found. Um, things that might be found on a bingo card would be things like um, excessive pyrotechnics, strobe lights, diva runs of dubious musicality, um, crazy backup dancers, really insane costumes involving fringe sequins, feathers, veils, any of the above, and I have to say, tonight has been really amazing so far. <laughs> we've had Russian grannies, we've had, um, what was it, Turkey was goth sailor bats that turned into a ship with their capes. There was a woman whose dress made, it was made out entirely of French and her backup dancers were wearing neon body paint. And then France, France was amazing, they had Olympic gymnasts as backup dancers, which I was like, oh my gosh, what's going on? I know if this sounds completely unlikely, uh, it's actually uh, America. I I don't know if anyone else over there is un as unenlightened as I was, but it's actually like the most highest viewed televised event in the world, um, aside from the sporting events. Uh, it's So it's a pretty big deal, <laughs> and not all of the countries in Europe get in because that's way too many countries now. So there are five countries that are assured to get in, and then all the rest of them have to fight it out. So tonight there were 26 countries that made it in, which is a lot of songs to sit through. Um, and a lot of them are terrible, and uh, that's kind of how it goes. I mean, Eurovision has given us things like Waterloo by ABBA, and uh, Walking on Sunshine by Katrina and the Waves, and that's that's kind of the gold standard in terms of Eurovision. A lot of the songs are really cheesy and really terrible, and you get either really dramatic, emotional ballads, or you get this really terrible Europop club anthem nonsense stuff. And then you get the weird novelty things like the Russian grannies, and whatever the one was tonight with the dancers where they were like rag dolls. And anyway, um. Yeah, so it's pretty cake crazy cakes, like completely crazy cakes, and I highly recommend anyone checking out the Eurovision uh, videos on YouTube because there is always some weird stuff going on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I really love terrible music, and Eurovision is a gold mine for it. I'm not saying that, that, that people... Um, in all these European countries represent their country by having the most terrible song. A lot of them, I think everyone who competes takes it really seriously and there's a lot of money that's sunk into this, like the Olympics of pop music, essentially. And it is hilarious because in the end it's all really down to politics, so especially this year, they're looking for someone, because the people who win, the country that wins has to host it the next year, so for this year, everyone is like, whoa, who can actually afford to host Eurovision? So, um, it's not going to be Greece, and it's not going to be Spain, I can tell you that for sure. Um, I know this is all a little bit incoherent, but I get really excited on Eurovision Day, and I've had a lot of Eurovision bingo squares that I've been able to cross off. So, <laughs> pretty cheerful. Um, uh, for the rest of the world, all you guys who know about Eurovision, yes, it's an honor and a privilege. Um, I have voted for Spain, because uh, I'm doing a little bit of trolling of, 
yeah. <laughs> uh, the uh, another good thing about Eurovision is all of the commentators for the various countries are really bitchy, and for the UK, um, Graham Norton, who's a talk show host, he does all of the commentating, and he says some really, <laughs> really hilariously terrible things about all the different contestants. I think my favorite was um, when he said that one of the countries. Um, backup dancers were young offenders and that uh, their punishment was to be backup dancers uh, for, th for this one song and that was, yeah, I could see it because um, it was a terrible song but um, yeah, that's about it for me this week uh, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to make any more sense than this because it's Eurovision Day and I'm overjoyed with just unnecessary like f like sparkly fiery things and crazy set designs and Jedward bouncing around like little pogo sticks. Uh, yeah. Uh, so for everyone that this makes sense to <laughs> and everyone else, please do check out Eurovision when you have a free hour if you really enjoy the cheesy pop. Anyway, I will see you next Saturday. Have a great week. Bye.